Forgiving means you say what he did was okay in, in some respects, so I can't do that. For a quick defense, a quick decision as a jury finds Mark Ray Leonard guilty on all counts in the deadly Southside explosion. Good afternoon, everyone. 20 days of testimony coming down to just three hours. RTV6 has team coverage of the Mark Ray Leonard guilty verdict. Now we start with the now's Rafael Sanchez. Rafael, the timing of this verdict really seemed like a surprise for some people up there. This was quick, more than three hours, and the jury came back with a decision after 20 days of testimony, 20 days of evidence. And of course, the families of Dion and Jennifer Longworth, they say they found justice right here in that building behind me here at the St. Joseph County Courthouse. After more than 20 days of testimony, they say they got justice here in this building. Now, it has been a long 33 months for both families and the residents of Richmond Hill, and that's because of course, the explosion. We've seen the images time and time again of the devastation and, of course, the deaths. But after more than three hours, the jury was quick. They came back and found that Mark Ray Leonard was guilty on all 53 criminal charges, including murder and arson. The prosecution always saying that this is all about a man's greed and the deaths of Dion and Jennifer Longworth and, of course, the impact on an entire neighborhood. One former Richmond Hill homeowner says she can never forget November 2012. Remembering, but uh, relief. And for Cindy Maddox, you could hear, you could see the emotion uh, on her face three years after the explosion. She was home alone on the night of that explosion. Her husband was helping with relief efforts with Hurricane Sandy out east. He rushed back, and of course, he also saw the devastation. Mark Ray Leonard, he was immediately taken out of the courtroom once the verdicts were read today, this afternoon, here at the St. Joseph County Courthouse. And of course, now the prosecution is going to regroup, and they'll focus on the next suspect connected to the Richmond Hill explosion, and that's Bob Leonard Jr. His trial is in February. Is there a deal on the table for him after today's verdicts? We'll talk about that on the news at 430. Live in South Bend, Rafael Sanchez. Now back to you. Thank you, Rafael. See you back here in a little bit. Public Safety Director Troy Riggs weighed in on this afternoon's verdict, saying this has been a difficult time for not only the Richmond Hill residents, but the city as a whole. Thank you to the public safety personnel who responded that night many of whom were off duty, as well as those who investigated and helped residents rebuild their lives. When the verdict came down, we were standing with the fathers of Jennifer and Dion Longworth who were killed in the blast. Well, the immediate reaction was tears for, because of relief. And, and I finally felt like Jenny is getting some, some uh, justice. Um, it's, it, it's not the justice I would hope, but she's getting justice. People don't get to the position where Mark Leonard found himself all at once, I don't believe. I, th I think it takes a while to get there, so uh, you do little things that may be evil and they build up over time, or you can, do, you can perform good actions in your life. And I think he got in the habit of, of doing bad things, and that winds up hurting people. And that's so maybe somebody somebody else will look at this and change how they behave and that's that's a hope i have also outside the courthouse reacting to the verdict the defense team who has worked to free mark ray leonard now for more than two years the now's ann kelly joins us live with the take on the jury's decision well, Jason, while so many people have been celebrating the verdict here outside the St. Joseph County Courthouse, there, of course, is another side to this, that of Mark Ray Leonard and his defense team. His defense team, who has worked so hard to convince the jury that Leonard wasn't the mastermind of the blast, that he didn't mean to cause this much destruction, that he meant it to be just a small fire. Now, during yesterday's closing arguments, they tried to convince the jury the case was based too much on what Monserrati surely had said, that she turned her boyfriend into to get a reduced plea. Still, again, in the end, Leonard found guilty of all 53 charges against him, leading us to ask, what do you think hurt Leonard's case the most? Well, I think, again, that's something that's going to be addressed on appeal, and we don't want to talk about those issues, but we're happy to. But when you see a picture of a neighborhood that's blown up, that's a pretty damning piece of evidence. And the hitman calls. 
Attorney Diane Black there saying the hitman calls evidence showing that Leonard tried to have a witness killed hurt him the most. She added that their team does plan to appeal the jury's decision. Reporting live in South Bend, Ann Kelly, RTV6. And thank you. The long wait for the Richmond Hill families and the community is over for now. But as one trial ends, prosecutors gear up for more. Before that happens, let's take a look back at how this all started. This case all began in the late night hours of November 10th, 2012. Just over a month later, Mark Ray Leonard, his brother Robert, and Monserati Shirley are arrested and charged. In early 2014, a judge rules the suspects will all get separate trials. Soon after, police arrest a fourth suspect, Gary Thompson. Then in April 2014, a fifth suspect, Glenn Holtz, was also arrested. July 2014, a change of venue request for Mark Ray Leonard is approved by a judge, moving the trial to South Bend. After 20 days, more than 100 witnesses and more than 1,000 pieces of evidence, the prosecution and defense rested. The jury started deliberating this morning at 9.43. A little more than three hours later, the jury finds Mark Ray Leonard guilty on all charges. And still to come here at 4.30, this is just the first trial in the deadly Southside explosion case. We're going to break down what's next. Plus, we're talking again with former Marion County Prosecutor Carl, Carl Brizzy. Then at 5, reaction from the Richmond Hill neighborhood this evening.